So I'm here at Dot Hill in lovely Longmont, Colorado, and I actually came for a briefing on products which you'll hear about in the next month or two. But coming here gave me an opportunity to go to the labs. And let's face it, most of us in this industry don't concentrate much on actually how this stuff's put together. We talk about the high level functionality and if you like the, the cool software features, which are important. But as we get into a more virtualized world and ever greater capacities, we're going from all these islands of storage to increasingly large and very capable, smaller groupings of storage. In other words, the hardware really matters. So since I was here, I thought I'd take the opportunity to learn a bit more about both uh, the Ultra 48 product and then get into some of the cool engineering factors that we overlook, but are really important. Hi, we're here today to talk about the Ultra 48, the latest array from Dot Hill. And that is a 2U48 system, which has twice the capacity, twice the performance, and only 2U in height. It also has 48 small form factor drives. The product is very robust. In fact, it has active active controllers, hot swappable drives, and has no single point of failure. Our primary product in the small form factor family is a 2U24. It takes a standard uh, uh, drive. We mitigate EMI on every drive within the sled itself. And we just released and have introduced the high density of products, which takes 48 small form factor drives. We had to create a new sled that has HDD isolation. The sled was created in conjunction with a partner 3M and uh, we isolate against vibration. And because we are side mount, we also always exit to the interior of the form factor of the system. So should there be a wall or a a door, we're still able to use our system. In the large form factor family, we have two products. The first is our um, low density product. We have what we call gelding. It has eject assist. You'll notice the drive gets pushed out to us. And on this guy, once again, we have our, our isolation for vibration and um, we meet the NEVS requirements. Uh, I'm a test engineer for Dot Hill. I'm in the process of evaluating our Ultra 2U48 uh, product. We're doing a transportation simulation. This particular uh, arrangement is in the Z axis. It is a non operational test. And with all of our testing at Dot Hill, we typically will go to whatever the max duration is uh, put out there by industry standards. Hercules is a large form factor, 4U56, that also meets the NEVS requirement. It's the same drive sled, it presents the drive to the user. We put it in, and we're there. We're top load, and because we have the eject assist, if the user inadvertently dropped it, we have a spring that catches it, softens the blow. So those are the Dot Hill Systems family of products. Also, by the way, on this guy, because we can go under earthquake, we have accelerometers on board, which can measure the amount of uh, acceleration that the system sees. Also, we have uh, sensors in the very front of the system, so we can measure the ambient air condition. So we're able to warn the user if an air conditioner goes out and they're starting to overheat the system. In this industry, we tend to focus on the function a great deal. Forgetting that function is only possible because of what's going on underneath from the engineering perspective. So I hope you enjoyed this look into some of the cool engineering features that help to distinguish an okay storage product from a really good one.